Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claude Poer, retired astrophysicist and space research engineer from the National Center for Space Studies, which is the French equivalent of NASA. I was the founder of the Japan, the group for the study of unidentified aerospace phenomena, which was an official agency devoted to the scientific study of UFO observation reports, and which remains active today, 30 years after, under the name of JPAM. I first learned about the existence of official US UFO reports here in Washington early in the 60s from Dr. Allen Hynek, the well-known astronomical consultant of the US Air Force, Project Blue Book. I then began to investigate official UFO reports and undertake a scientific analysis of the data in France. I received approval for CNES from CNES to create and direct the Japan about 15 years later, in 1977. I trained our first investigators, teaching them how to conduct official investigations into the different kinds of uh, reports from lights in the sky to landings with physical evidence and observation of occupants. We had an independent scientific steering committee. This committee recommended that we continue to pursue this work during the two years of my direction. For example, I trained our investigators and my successors on the case of Cusack, where in August 1967, two young witnesses were alerted by the agitation of dozens of frightened farm animals at around noon. The witnesses then observed a landed spherical three meters diameter UFO at a distance of 80 yards with four occupants near it. Very high luminosity was reported after slow takeoff, leaving physiological effects on the witnesses' eyes that were confirmed by the village mayor. The hiss noise described by the two witnesses was also heard by the hunting guard of the village. The UFO acceleration after vertical takeoff was estimated to be about 100 Gs by Japan experts. The occupants were seen floating in the air while entering the craft from its top at first in a hurry like this. Physical traces on the ground from the craft were confirmed by the local police, as well as a sulfur oxide odor. CNES experts in meteorology and space debris worked in the field with the witnesses, along with a judge, a psychologist, an optical engineer, and an optical engineer. They had full measuring equipment and work with the police as well. The official conclusion of Japan in 1979 was that about 15% of the cases remained unidentified after careful analysis by our experts. We concluded that the objects in most of these cases were compatible with flying machines whose flight physics were foreign to the experts' knowledge. What I've tasted previously is about the past. Now there are some recent experimental facts in direct relation with my Japan and UFO investigation involvement that I believe personally that are of great importance for our future and for the way you should handle now the UFO observation in the USA. After I left Japan, but remained in CNES, 
I continued to work in the UFO subject, but in the domain of theoretical physics. <laughs> Last April, 30 years after, the physical theory about gravitation and inertia I was working on since 1980 was successfully tested in the laboratory. Effectively, I patented and tested in my laboratory devices able to create a strong artificial gravitation field that seems to be the cause of most of the strange effects that are described in UFO observation reports. I'm talking about such effects as tremendous accelerations, sharp turns, sudden stops, powerful emission of light, silent supersonic speed, stopping of cars, paralysis of witnesses, desiccation of vegetation, etc. Personally, I think that this discovery puts an end to many of the scientific enigmas about UFOs. These experimental results are currently open to be demonstrated in my laboratory in Toulouse for qualified scientists, scientific journalists, and industrial representatives, including those from the USA. Evidently, I am concentrating now on the very numerous possibilities of new applications, mainly in the domain of propulsion of energy generation and in the domain of health. Thank you for your attention.